Now we're going to look at basic chord structures using the piano to make sure we've got this down. Uh, so we were using the key of C major and so we're going to stay with that for the moment. And so we know that the C major chord in root position that's starting with the C is C, E, G, like that. But there's an actually, <laughs> there's actually a mathematical uh, pattern to know how to make any major chord in root position. And let's figure out what that is. And here's what happens. So if we know we're going from C to E to G, let's figure out how many half steps there are between each of the notes. So if we go from C to E, there's C. So we're not gonna count the C. So we go up to one black note, a white note, a black note, a white note. So we go one, two, three, four. C to E, not counting C, remember. So one, two, three, four. And then to go up to the G, not counting E, we go up one, two, three. So not counting E, one, two, three. C, E, G. So the pattern for making a major chord in root position is four plus three. Four plus three, let's do it again, ready? So here's C, one, two, three, four, plus three. One, two, three. Okay, and now let's talk about the minor chord structure and the pattern is the flip. You just reverse the pattern. It's three plus four. So let's check it out. So here we are in C. We go one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. There it is. C, E flat, G. And that, again, works on any chord you want to make. You can start on the name of any chord you want to make and you can make it a minor chord by using that three plus four pattern. Now let's do diminished. Well again diminished means to make smaller. So this is cool because the chord pattern is three plus three. So let's try it out. So here we are on C. Now we go up three. One, two, three. There's the E flat. And we go up three. One, two, three, there's the G flat. There it is. There's that train wreck kind of song, kind of sound. Okay, so that's diminished. And now let's do augmented. Augmented is four plus four. So we start on C. One, two, three, four takes us to E. And then four more. One, two, one, two, three, four takes us to a G sharp. There it is. G sharp. And those are the four I really wanted to focus on. Once you know how to make these, then you're well on your way. If you're doing a seventh, you know, you just add in the seventh note of the scale. You have to determine whether it's a, a dominant seventh or if it's just a major seventh. With the dominant seventh, you're going to flat that seventh note. And with the major seventh, you're going to leave it natural or leave it the way it is. And so uh, anyway, that's just that's it. So what you need to do then is you need to experiment with this. Write it down if, if that helps you. Uh, write down all the all the chords that you can make using the the four plus three major pattern, the three plus four minor pattern, the three plus three diminished pattern, and the four plus four augmented pa pattern. Because these are the things that really took my piano playing from boring to wow, just learning how to use these chords and, and using my ear and just using uh, the structures of the hymns even to know how to put these in. And so now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to incorporate these chords into your playing.